Welcome to my channel, The Flix Judge, where you will get detailed reviews and honest ratings of global movies and OTT series so that you can watch only the best content worthy of your time. Today we will review Leo, a movie starring Vijay. Tamil original, this has been released in Hindi, Telugu and other languages in a dubbed version. The movie is directed by Lokesh Kanakaraj, who has directed other super hit movies like Kaidi and Vikram earlier. As per the title cards, the director is inspired by the movie A History of Violence in making this one. The movie has Sanjay Dutt, Trisha Krishnan, Gautam Vasudev Menon and Arjun in other key supporting roles. The music is by Anirudh. Parthiban is a family man running a coffee shop in Himachal Pradesh. Apart from his wife Satya, he has a son Siddhu and a little daughter Chintu. He leads a normal, peaceful life in the small Himalayan town. One day, due to some unfortunate turn of events, Parthiban is forced to shoot and kill a few dangerous and violent criminals who are about to hurt his daughter and another female employee in his cafe. Even though he is not jailed as it was in self-defense, this case becomes famous all over India. The coverage reaches Telangana, where in the guise of a tobacco company, Das & Co., Anthony Das, a role essayed by Sanjay Dutt and Harold Das, a role played by Arjun, are leading a criminal empire. On seeing the photos of Parthiban, they believe that he is none other than Leo Das, the son of Anthony Das, who they had presumed had died more than 20 years ago. The resemblance is uncanny. So, Anthony Das, along with a huge posse of his henchmen, go to Himachal to get Leo back into their fold. What ensues? Who is this Leo? How or why did he die? What is the connection between Leo and Parthiban? Are told amidst non-stop action sequences in the rest of the movie. Now, the first thing I liked about this movie is of course the acting by Vijay. He has given his 100% in the movie. Be it the non-stop action, family drama, he has given a great performance. In a regular Vijay movie, you will have a little bit of humor, romance, light-hearted storyline, some emotions, dance, etc. However, this movie is not a regular Indian masala entertainer, but conforms to the violent and bloody action genre. The family, friends are all just a background to the main storyline, which is action, gory, bloody and extremely violent. There are two characters. One is that of Parthi, the family man. The other is that of Leo, the son of a gang boss, both played by Vijay. The character of Leo is that of a ruthless and violent man who will do anything for his father and his business. He is shown to commit murders at the drop of a hat. However, even the role of Parthi, who despite being a family man, is shown to be fighting most of the time, either to save his family or his own life. The regular family character vanishes after the first few minutes. Hence, the normal distinction you get to see in two such different characters are not visible at all here. Since both characters are shown to be fighting with the same skill and ruthlessness, there is little to distinguish between them. Also, since the screenplay does not have much room for comedy, romance, etc., there is again no way to distinguish the two characters. What little scope to emote the director has given for Vijay with his wife and daughter, he has utilized to the hilt. Now, being a Vijay starer, almost 75% of the scenes, you will have him. Only he will do the things to move the story along. All other characters, be it Prisha's character or Gautam Vasudeva Menon, they just hover in the sidelines, mouthing some stuff, but actually they get to do nothing. None of their characters are written or developed beyond some rudimentary levels. If you look at the character on the villain's side, the first is Anthony Das. Again, this role is not fleshed out well and he gets to do very little, but Sanjay Dutt is a powerhouse. His screen presence is amazing. In a kind of a macho presence, he rivals Bruce Willis or even Schwarzenegger sometimes, according to me. So even if he has very little dialogues or action, his presence alone elevates that role and proves a match to the performance of Vijay's role. The reason given as to why this role has a fallout with his son Leo 
is unbelievable you will understand it if you see it i can't uh, go further into it as it could become a spoiler uh, next is that of harold das played by arjun sarja now arjun has a unique talent when he smiles he looks like a gentleman but he can have a glint in his eye through which he can convey that villainic streak but even his role is very small and not developed properly it would have been good to have a bit more of him in the movie the next main aspect are the stunts and the camera work these are the backbone of the movie as they are the main plot the whole movie is made for the action and not the other way around the stunts are innumerable there are fights in houses in a market on the roads in a factory in night time or in day time fights with even animals there are knives guns cars bombs explosions you name it i am sure there are 20 to 30 fights where some 530 odd people may have been killed or maimed i am not kidding but the beauty is if you are an action fan you would love all the stunts they have all been executed in an intense and an effective manner the camera work is superb in the fights and provide a whole new dimension especially in the factory fight scene in the second half as well as the night time car chase sequence the camera movements are superb and enhances the thrill and the effect as is as if we are right in the midst of the action some of you may have seen the movie vikram and might recognize this style overall this department has not failed the movie the cg vfx that have been used in the fights the lighting and the sound effects are all done extremely well and you can see the money and the effort and the care taken to execute these in the great output that you can see this is top notch the music of anurudh is good background scores are also good it grows in tempo as the movie progresses however that uh, mass dance number in the second half is very generic and did not really work for me the movie also does not have much scope for song and dance so what's the verdict well if you are a fan of vijay or at least of action movies then this is a must watch for you especially in the theaters is as indian style violent fights filmed in hollywood style you would love it but if you are someone who is just an ordinary movie fan who expects all kinds of comedy romance action song and dance emotional scenes everything in a single movie this may work only in parts for you so for an action movie fan or a vijay fan i will rate this movie 7 out of 10 but for a regular movie goer this is just a 6 out of 10 as far as parental guidance goes this can be watched with the entire family if you don't mind a little bit of blood and gore in the fights see you again with another review until then bye and happy viewing thank you for watching if you like this video please like share and subscribe i go through hours and hours of content so that you can watch only the very best ones in your precious free time thank you